Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day, and today is Tuesday the 18th, and today was a beautiful day to be alive. Um, woke up, alarm went off way ass early before um, sun up even. I don't think there should be the ability to set an alarm before the sun is up. There should be like a law or something. They shouldn't even put that technology in a device. But got up this morning, um, took care of the dogs and stuff real quick and that. Um, Karen got around, she had to go in for surgery today. And it was really, um, went well. It was just that long early morning type thing. So I got there, got her in, um, got her taken back, waited around before they finally took her up to the OR. And from there, I was told it'd be a while. So I went back downstairs, waited around, and I got, was told she made it out of OR just fine. And everything went good. I had about an hour wait before she was going to be able to be seen by me, just anesthesia wearing off and whatnot. So I used that time to go for a little walk around the um, hospital and out to the um, intercoastal water and stuff. And just kind of just, I don't know, got out of the hospital for a few minutes and had myself a nice little walk, uh, headed back to the place. Finally, about an hour later, I got to see her. Um, she came out of anesthesia really well, which is a good thing. She was all weird, twitchy type shaking thing, which I guess something that happens, I guess, in anesthesia, but it is what it is. Um, we got her home, uh, everything's good. Got her um, laid back a little bit, got her um, gently put into bed, um, got her fed, and then I took off, because the pharmacy was, I think, like a half an hour, 45 minutes to get the medication. So I rode the pedal bike um, back to get my ride in. Uh, came back, got her medication in her, got her in bed, to sleep and I took off my run um, that went well enough as best it could go I guess with Bella one of the dogs I got with me she wants to always run behind you and just bump in the back of your feet and try and trip you and cut you off in front she's just super super um, anxious about all kinds of weird noises and strange things and we had um, the poop bag that I threw probably I don't know 10 yards from me eight, at least eight yards from me into the uh, woods and when it hit it scared her so bad she got running in the opposite direction to the end of the 16 foot lead and almost flipped herself over so it was definitely I don't know what's up with her what happened in her past life and before she was adopted to make her so scared of everything but other than that um, went pretty well came back to the house here and then basically spent the entire day um, trying to keep her from barking because she barks at anything and everything for no damn good reason at all um, and I didn't want to wake in Karen up. Karen slept for like seven and a half hours after surgery, which was a good thing, is what she needed to do. And one of the things she didn't realize, I kind of kept her up late um, last night for the sole purpose that she would be extra tired today when she came out of surgery. So she'd be less likely to want to go wandering around and doing stuff. So she basically slept all day. So didn't tell her what it was. I just, that's what my plan was. And it worked because she slept all damn day, which was awesome. So um, from there, um, had a couple of things just near the house here and there to do. And just pretty much chilled out, watched a movie. And then I was falling asleep. I was trying to stay awake the whole time, which was hilarious because I didn't want to fall asleep in case she needed me or hollered at me. I want to be awake for that. I did um, go in the bedroom and turn on an extra fan just to drown out noise and she didn't realize it was on for I don't know an hour probably half an hour she was awake and then she realized it was actually even on we also had the um, drain line to the AC in the house the central air plugged up and flooded out and then kind of went back out of the low I guess the heating cooling closet into the bathroom and so the bathroom floor was all wet it was kind of funny so it was all good so went ahead from there and um, just got it um, cleaned out and whatnot, not and it got it all leached out and boiled out and all that good stuff so it should be good to go but other than that pretty much uneventful day um just waiting around trying to be quiet it's the hardest thing when you're tired it really really sucks so other than that it was a great day so talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe wonderful day thanks for watching